BJP MP Kirit Sumaya is to raise the worship scam issue with the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament. So we've been given to understand that Lok Sabha MP of the Bharatiya Janata Party will be raising this issue, the worship scam with the Public Accounts Committee. In fact, uh, uh, this of course, uh, many talk about the fact that this could be bigger and the naval scam could be bigger than the Augusta Westland scam as well. Kirit Sumaya is with us. Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Sumaya, you are raising this issue with the Public Accounts uh, Committee. Please tell us more about what you intend to do. Mr. Kirit Sumaya, Mr. Kirit Sumaya was asking you that you are raising this issue with the Public Accounts Committee. Do tell us more about what you really intend to do. In try and get that line back with the BGP MP Kirit Sumaya in just a bit from now. However, we have information that uh, Kirit Sumaya, Lok Sabha MP from the Bharati Janata Party, will be raising the worship scam with the Public Accounts Committee of uh, Parliament. In fact, uh, many are talking about the fact that the naval scam could in fact be bigger than the Augusta Westland VVIP chopper scandal. It is said, has been said in fact, that the government has ordered an inquiry into this matter. Favors given by the previous UPA government to an Italian shipbuilding firm which provided two naval tankers to India. And we've been given to understand that Kirit Sumaya, BJP MP from Lok Sabha, will be raising this issue with the Public Accounts Committee. In fact, uh, Defence Minister has reportedly also ordered an inquiry into the naval tanker scam. Kirit Sumaya, who's giving uh, raising this issue with the Public Accounts Committee is with us. Uh, Mr. Somaya, what do you really intend to do? We believe you are raising this issue with the Public Accounts Committee. Next week, PAC will be finalizing various subjects for the next year, that is 2016-17. I mm -hmm. already written a letter to the PAC Secretariat to include this subject. At the same time, I am also raising this issue with the Defence Ministry. What are the facts? The Defence Ministry must try to get the detailed fact whether the inferior quality of steel used, then why, how, who recommended. Or is it a coincidence that both helicopter and this naval ship companies belong to Italy? If these two companies have any correction, all this issue we are going to discuss.